If you follow your heart, all of your dreams will come true, or at least that's what Disney wants us to believe. Most of us actually live this way in some sense. We follow our desires or what we really want to do or what we have dreams for, and that's not always bad, but biblically there's a problem with following your heart. Jeremiah 17.9 tells us that the heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Who can understand it? And the prophet Jeremiah goes on later to say, only God knows what the heart looks like. And so our job as leaders uh, in every area of our life, especially as group leaders, is to not follow our heart, but lead our heart. And so today I've come up with three simple ways that you can judge whether you're leading your heart or following your heart. The first one of this, if you're leading your heart, then you put other things off to do the most important thing. And the most important thing is to be with God. And so you make sure either in the morning or at night that you have a priority that you're spending time with God. Your life is busy, my life is busy, and there's lots of important things. But are we pushing other things aside to say we need to spend time with Jesus? I'm not for procrastinating or laziness. I am for making your time with Jesus a priority in your life. The second thing you'll do if you're leading your heart is you'll be very aware of what's going into your heart. So listening to things, watching things, reading things that don't necessarily help you grow in your relationship with Jesus is not bad. But if you're leading your heart, you're going to be aware of what you're putting into it and where your heart is going. Because even though things might not be bad, they may be leading your affections to something else or somewhere else. And so if you're just following your heart, then you're just doing things that you think are fun and you're, you're reading things that entertain you but not necessarily helping you grow. The third way you know if you're leading your heart is that you'll be talking about God with others. I'm not just talking about people who don't know Jesus, but even people who don't do know Jesus, your family, your friends, people in your group. See, talking about Jesus isn't just something you do at church or in your group because the scripture says that what comes out of your mouth is the overflow from your heart. And so we can be talking about God on a regular basis with people, talking about what God's teaching us, where we need to grow, we're asking other people, hey, what do you think God has been saying to you? But God is a normal subject in our everyday lives, not just on a Sunday or a Wednesday. So again, don't follow your heart. Lead your heart, and God will put the dreams that he wants for you in there.